Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stormworks tutorial. Now in this video I'll be showing you how to use the new radio antennas here in Stormworks. We'll show you how to send data and receive them along with that go over the components, how to wire them up, what you need uh, along with that how to actually build up the microprocessors to actually transfer all that data. Now if you're enjoying this videos comment below and anywhere else you'd like to see any of my future videos while you're there don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and remember the little bell icon to be notified of any of my upcoming content as soon as it gets posted. So that all said Let's get straight into it and get started with the tutorial. So to start, we're back here in the workbench. Now you can see just in front of me, I have got a little base like we usually do for our tutorials here. Now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be setting up two terminals, one terminal to send a signal from and one terminal to receive a signal from. So the first component we're going to need is actually going to be our radio stuff. So you can see here we have the four different types of antennas that we have obviously showed in the last video. However, we're going to be using the small one right now. So I'm just going to grab that and we're going to be placing it down just over here. Okay, so we have two, one to send and one to receive. Now they can both obviously receive and send at the same time, but for this example, we're just going to be doing a simple way to send and a simple way to receive. The next component we're going to need is obviously going to need be a battery. Now, the reason why we need a battery is because we're in advanced mode here. So I'm just gonna place down a simple battery just over here. Now, these uh, pieces actually can be on a completely separate different uh, creations and they will still work, so you can do that. However, for this example, we're just building on one to show you how it works. Now, the next thing we're going to need is obviously something to send a signal with. Now, I'm going to be using just a simple on-off block and I'll also use a number keypad to send a number across. So I'm gonna get that on one side, okay? So we got that. And then on the other side, what we're going to do is we're going to receive that number and receive that on off. And to do that, I'm just going to be using a light switch and I'll also use a dial to read the number that we have gotten from that side, okay? So perfect, all great so far. Now, the next thing we obviously need to start connecting up this logic. Let's start with the electric, okay? So you can see the new antennas do use electric, so we will connect all this up. Now, obviously, if it was different creations, you would use a different power source. The next thing we want is obviously to can do our composite. Now you can see obviously we need to convert our on offs on either side to composite and also to receive it back into on off. So we're going to need to build a microprocessor for that. Same goes for our signals here. We need to convert that into our signals. However, on the antennas, you can see they actually have their own inputs. This is going to be to set the frequency and the receiving channel of the radio itself. Now, I'm going to be use a, using a simple number block over here, right in the middle, and I'm gonna say, okay, I want you to receive and send on number one, okay, channel one. So I'm gonna be sending that for both of them over here, guys. Now, the next thing, as I said, is we need to build our microprocessor. So I'm gonna grab into the microprocessor editor. Now, if you want a little bit more detail of this, I have covered it before, check out my microprocessor tutorial. So have a look at that. However, we're gonna just do the basics for this tutorial right now for the radio. The first thing you want to do is obviously go over to your properties. I'm gonna write uh, test radio and call it that. Along with that is I'm gonna make it one size bigger because I'm going to need a couple nodes on there. Uh, and we're going to use the symbol of T for test, okay? Perfect. Once we're on the logic, uh, the first logic piece we need is obviously a composite. We need to send composite and we also need to receive composite. So you can see here I have input and I'm gonna add another one there which is going to be for composite out, okay? So we got those two there. So we're sending and receiving on composite. The same goes for the on off and for the number. So we want on off input and we want on off output. And then same goes for the number. We want on off uh, number in and number out, okay? So we got that and let's set it out. We just wanna make sure that we obviously go and just reorganize this and make sure it's all not overlapping. So you can see that's fine. We just wanna move this around. There we go, perfect. We can see we have these different ones here. Now, once we move into the logic, you can see we have our input here for the number. We then have our output here for the number, input for the on off, output for the on off, and then we have input there and we have an output there. Okay guys, so we have these very basic ones. Now we need to convert the different things. So we need to convert this into this and we need to convert that into this. So we're receiving the composite and it's going into on and off. So this is our receiving end and this is going into the microprocessor and sending it out as a composite value. Okay, now to do that, we're just going to be using our simple read and, and write here. So read number, great. So we're gonna put that there and we're going to read on off and we're going to put that over here. Same goes for the uh, writing. We will need to write our number. So we'll grab that, put that there and we will also need to write our on off, okay? 
so we'll get our on off here so to get this all wired, let's start with the bottom. Uh, we obviously receive our composite signal on our receiving end. We're then gonna convert it into a number and we're gonna convert it onto an on off. Now we're going to do on off as channel one and then we're going to do number as channel two, okay? Going on to the top one, obviously we need our number coming into our block here and our on off coming to the block here. As I said, on off is going to be channel one and our number is going to be channel two, okay? So you can see there it comes in, it's then going to loop back into this one and then go out into that one, okay? Very basic, you guys can obviously play with this a little bit further and get into a little bit more detail of this and get a little more creative. You can also use the new Lua block, however, we won't be covering it in this tutorial. Once we have that and we're happy with all how that works and we've got our right channels everywhere, the next thing we want to do is obviously save this. I'm just gonna save it as test radio tutorial, click save, exit this and then actually add it in now we'll need to add two obviously one on the sending end and one on the receiving end so we're going to go and place that down on either side perfect we now need to start doing our logic so we're going to start with the composite okay so composite you can see here we have in and out so we got data being received and data being sent we actually don't need this one because this is only our receiving end and over here you can see we have our in here so it's receiving data coming in we don't need it there because that's our sending one and we need to just connect that to send data across okay next thing is we need to do our actual signals here so you can see we've got our, our button here going into the processor and our number going to the processor and we have our number coming out over here into our dial and our on off coming out into our actual light itself double check we have all electricity done double check we have everything else connected and then what we can do is we can actually spawn this in now spawning it in quite simple you can see we obviously have our different antennas if we go over to this block and turn it on off we should see our single is being received on that side and same goes with the number if we put five here we can go over to this side and see that we're receiving a five and that's being solely just sent through the radio over and being received on this microprocessor as i said you can disconnect this and have it as a completely different entity and send and receive and we could also add on off buttons here and then receive light signals here on the side too okay so that's pretty much a basic tutorial on how the new radio stuff works obviously stay tuned for the next one we will be talking about a video next in the next tutorial that we'll be doing so I think we'll go ahead and end today's video over there. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and found it somewhat entertaining and informative as always. And we'll see you in the next one.